on everybody thank you so much for coming back to another video and in today's video we are headed to florida supercon for the day two i think it is day day, day two, two day three day. but yeah we were starting a little late but it's we're super excited we have press passes and when i say we oh guys everybody let's hear a, a, just a beautiful round of applause for the big rob theory <laughs> 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 yeah guys we're gonna have a great time super excited let's do this let's have a great time i hope you guys enjoy this video all right guys so we are heading into florida supercon right now just got our press passes yeah buddy got batman on it looking nice super excited uh yeah apparently there's like a whole press section so we're excited to see what that's all about big thanks to the big rob theory for hooking it up with the press passes got you man anytime baby anytime yeah buddy i'm mm -hmm. super excited you excited dude bro if I could actually show you how excited I am, this is me being beyond excited, but I'm trying to like be reserved, you know, because I'm trying to be as professional as possible. Yeah, because he looks thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this, guys. All right, guys, so we just got out of the Dragon Ball Z panel Q&A. What would you guys think of it? Fun. Um, really fun. It was good. It, unfortunately, there were some uh, notable cringeworthy moments, some hilarious that. moments uh, sitting in the crowd. Very, very, very hilarious. Oh, my God. Uh, but there, there was... It, it, it was good. It was good. It's just, again, pretty awkward at times. I mean, I think we can all agree. Yeah. There was one specific thing that happened. Before. We won't talk about it because um, no, we're going to we'll figure it on the comments. Yeah, but we we're, we're going to we'll talk, talk about, about it. it. But it's just it, that was a very awkward thing to experience, and the act, the voice actors, um, definitely were taken back and uh, definitely insulted by it because I would be, you know. But um, overall, you know, we love DBZ, and it, it, it was awesome to just see um, our childhood. Uh, uh, voice actors, you know, in person, you know, it, it was awesome. What'd you guys think? Well, to me, it was actually my first time actually physically seeing Sean Shimmel and Chris Sabat yeah. uh, live in person. That's it. Um, I've always seen them throughout like maybe 20 years of interviews or so, and I'm like, man, I would love to be a voice actor. I've always dabbled in voice acting, and, always, and I have so many questions to ask them. Yeah. So I even got in the line in this panel, but I didn't make the cut, so the line was so long and they already ran out of time. But it, it's something really, um, mesmerizing just to see your idols like that absolutely and uh i can't wait and hopefully i can meet them tonight at the cocktail party because well, uh, I, I got the vip pass so i, I want to be able to meet those guys i enjoyed it but i like robert said i think it was like definitely a little cringeworthy at times it's always and like that in the conventions yeah no but sometimes those q a panels can be like really exciting everybody asks a good question and it could be like really you know fun and funny yeah robert mentioned it i'm gonna talk about it this one kid came up i don't even know really I didn't know too much about the controversy. I had to look it up on my phone right afterwards. Some but this guy shit. came up and decided to ask this just bullshit question uh, and ask them about some controversy happening with another actor who has some allegations. What's his name? Vic Mignana, the voice uh, actor of Broly. Broly. Oh, wow. I didn't even know he was a voice. He's been Broly since the original. Was Randy. he Broly in the new, latest film? Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay. So that makes it even more. Like, like I, without getting into like major specifics, basically he's going through a case right now. He's in trial. He's being accused of sexual harassment, assault, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's it's like the whole thing is a mess, and between the voice actors of DBZ and himself, uh, Vic. So, but I don't want to talk about that. I'm like, we're not a drama alert keem star channel yeah yeah no absolutely not it's just it just made it really cringe worthy and it kind of killed the vibe of the rest of the things what, what were you saying yeah my bad oh, on top good. of that it's just th that there's no place for that here you know that it's not even like it was like one of the last questions it was like one of the first questions that this kid asked you know it just right after the announcer was like all right you know this is a fun time let's not ask here. anything crazy let's not you know you know promote ourselves here and what does this kid do literally the opposite of almost everything that the announcer said, you know, and it's just, come on, man, we're, we're all here to have a good time, I get it if you want to know that, but ask that maybe in like a personal thing, or, or look it up online, or, you know, if you have a personal interview with these people, which might be worse, but hey, don't ruin it for everyone else in there, you know, yeah. I don't know, that's just my... It's a, it's a selfish thing to do, yeah. and for himself to go boast himself like that, 
Uh, just, to get, my channel. just to get a rise, <laughs> to get a rise, you're ruining the fun for everybody else. And it just yeah. made everybody go like, oh. Yeah. Like everybody just, you just soiled the moment. Let's talk about the good stuff. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about the good stuff. I got here like around 440, 450, 450, and I just caught the panel right at the start. Yeah, we got here around like what? Day two, back. three o'clock? Yeah, like yeah. three ish. Yeah. Day two. Yeah. Day two, yeah. Day one for us, but day two of the convention. We got here a little bit late. We will be here all day tomorrow as well and Sunday. Hopefully, I'll be interviewing Danielle Panabaker. Flash. Daniel Pennebaker is life, bro. <laughs> He's a big flash. Man. Question for you guys. Yeah. What's something that you're the most excited for, but besides Daniel Pennebaker from the weekend that you're looking forward to seeing either Saturday or Sunday? Well, I really am. I came here because uh, Sean Schimmel and Chris Sadat, uh, okay. and they don't come to Miami often. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like thinking, yeah, this is to. my chance. Yeah. So I bought VIP dead last minute. I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I asked you about it yesterday. I have my. <laughs> I have my brother's uh, wristbands, which were mine, and I decided, you know what, brother, take the reins of the wristbands. And now you have single day passes for Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So I bought it in case you know I ever get the opportunity to actually talk to those people because they're like one of my biggest idols, along with Steve Bloom, who's actually one of my favorite voice actors. He did Cowboy Bebop and uh, Wolverine and some other people. But now that's those two guys are the next people I want to meet. You know. Are you um, are you doing like signings or like autographs with them? What does VIP get you? Uh, VIP gets me twenty percent off on which I probably didn't get on my snacks. Twenty percent off on uh, foods, merch. Um, skip the line of all signings and autographs. Uh, I have my own lounge room. But personally, what I'm looking forward to this weekend, um, aside obviously from Daniel Pan. Um, is is uh, the Q and A with Kate Flannery and uh, Oscar Nunez tomorrow? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. Oh, awesome. man, I want to ask this guy so many office questions. And Creed Bratton. He was walking too. around earlier. We saw yeah, him we just saw walking him. on his he own. He was just walking around nonchalantly. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 not nonchalantly, bro. He was booking it. Yeah, he, <laughs> he did have a little bit of a pep in his step. <laughs> that's so so Oscar. Yeah, yeah, that's he was very true. It, bro. Just, <laughs> man, that's my boy, man. I I can't wait to see all of them tomorrow. Um, and I, that, at that point, when they open up for questions, before, if I see him touch that mic, I'm running. They're big fans of The Office, you should watch it. It's coming off on Netflix. Netflix is actually going to take it off. That sucks. Uh, which is stupid. It's because everything yeah. and their mother now has a streaming service. I wanted to touch on um, just one last thing here um, with both of you, because I want to hear your thoughts about it. Mm -hmm. Swamp Thing on DC Universe. I, I wanted to make a video, but I kept passing it. So, what are your, I mean, have you guys, first of all, have you seen so, any episodes? I've only any watched the trailer. I don't have DC Universe. I know you do. I have it too. Uh, I know. I, I think you've talked about it on your yeah, channel too. Yeah. I saw a couple of episodes of the Titans. I like that. So I like kind of what I saw from the DC Universe streaming service. Um, Swamp Thing trailer looked pretty cool. But I remember like they had, if I'm not mistaken, it was supposed to be 13 episodes and then they brought it down to 10 episodes. And then they brought it down to cancellation. And they, yeah, and then like literally episode one aired and then they canceled it. Which, so there is some uh, history disappointing. behind that Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing has gone through like a production hell and throughout many studios in history back in like since like the 90s. Every time it had an opportunity to air, it would it'll always be canceled out. It would always get canceled. Why is and it? I, we don't know. Oh, Maybe okay. because of the characters just not popular enough or well known or nobody cares about Swamp Thing. People always wanted Superman, Batman, and yeah. other big characters. But every time it had an opportunity and it was so close to production or in production and ready to shoot and everything like that, it's can it would, they can it. And then finally we get it, or we think we're getting it, they canned it. I think it's like uh, Cold Feet, you know, they just call it out. I think he's just a quick. tough character to crack. Not but in the, the sense right of like... With the production and like the script, they should be able to do it just fine. For sure, and for sure. Good. I feel like he's, he looked, it looked great, so I haven't seen it, but it looked fantastic. Have you seen a lot of it? I, I'm actually all the way caught up, except for the last episode, and probably two now because um, it comes out on Fridays. So okay. um, I haven't seen last week's, and um, I'll watch both uh, t later tonight. But in my personal opinion, I think this Swamp Thing was done wrong. As in, as in, they shouldn't have canceled it. Because it is awesome. Obviously, every show has their, their you know, their quirks and whatever. And, and on DC Universe, they have like various um, shows that, you know, uh, have their quirks. I mean, Titans has a little nitpicks in the here and there that I would, you know, take out. Oh, great song. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but no, personally, Swamp Thing is a... Uh, different iteration to the DC Universe um, app and it's a different show than most because not to spoil anything for any of you who haven't seen it yet or whatever it's canceled so I'll, whatever but um, <laughs> it's so well done in the horror aspect you know like there's I, I, I can't really touch too much on like how good it is in my opinion this because I, I feel like I sound too biased but 
I like the tone of Swamp Thing. I like what they're doing with it. And I like the actors and actresses in it, and to be honest with you. Um, what's her name? Crystal Reed. She's the main person, uh, Abby Arcane, in Swamp Thing. And she was actually in Gotham. Oh, yeah. I and like she played, Gotham. Yeah, I and I loved Gotham. She was Sophia Falcone. And she nice. was great. Now she's beautiful, too. And uh, yes, she is uh, <laughs> I almost gorgeous. Forgot. I forgot that she was in that show. Dude, she's But I'm gorgeous. like, I can't forget because, like, how old uh, yeah, yeah, how can you forget I cats? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but um, no, seriously, I, though. I finished Gotham, and it was pretty, it was pretty decent. decent. It, a lot of cheese and corniness into it, but, like, it's very dark and brutal, too. Time. Like, some things they got away with, I was surprised with the show on TV, but it's, like, it's fine. I feel like DC Fox, TV why, leans into the cheesy elements of the comics, yeah. but, it, you know, in a fun and campy way. Well, it's no, not going to be way, for everybody yeah. sometimes, <laughs> but, you know. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this part of the video. I'm going to probably show some more after this, probably do a little bit more of the vlog. I hope you guys have been enjoying this video and the sit down with Ronnie and Robbie. Ronnie and Robbie, not Robbie and Ronnie. Or not Robbie and Ronnie. Other way around. Ron B? Ron B? Ron B. Ron B. It's Ron B. They're Ron B. Ron B. Uh, but yeah, check out their channels. I'll have the link down below in the description. News to Astonish, The Big Rob Theory. Great channel. If you love all the kind of stuff that my channel has, they have it and more. Uh, News to Astonish over here is way above all of us, but uh, yeah, if you're looking for oh, high that's, quality- that's too much. I hate, no, I, I don't, I don't like praise that. that I'll, much. I'll say that it, then I'll much. say it. Check it's out true, his man. channel. <laughs> He's got way higher quality videos. He's got a badass background. He's, if you like people who like, just talk about specific topics, He's the guy right here. He's been doing it for a while, so I've been learning from watching his channel. Thank Check you. out News to Astonish. Check out my boy, The Big Rob Theory, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you, I appreciate it. As right, always, guys, thank, thank you all so, so much, much for watching. watching. I'll see you guys to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Next one. <laughs> <laughs>time at supercon not too too much going on kind of uneventful to be honest but it was cool there were some cringy people some awkward people yeah. so yeah there was definitely some awkward people a lot of awkward people this is definitely no star wars celebration but we had a good time really really just grateful to be here and having a good time with my boy the big rob theory do you have a good time man oh dude it was awesome yeah again it was you know uh i looked at the schedule earlier and um it just some of the things that were on the schedule it just seemed more like uh video game stuff and and these uh, Q&A panels. The only interesting one was the DBZ one. Yeah, the Dragon uh, one. And uh, that's about it. You know, it was pretty uneventful, but tomorrow's pretty jam-packed. There's an office, uh, the office uh, Q&A with uh, Kate Flannery, Oscar Nunez, and uh, Creed Bratton, and uh, Danielle Panabaker. She'll be there tomorrow with photo ops, and your boy's hoping to get an interview. And uh, it, was, it was awesome, man, and I'm glad to have my boy here. Hopefully, we'll have some of our other friends tomorrow with us. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't have them with us today for various reasons, but... Yeah, man, it was dope. You know, it was it was just great to be in in that environment again. Absolutely. And uh, what about you, man? Like, yeah, I had fun, man. It was chill. Like I said, it was a little cringy at times, a little awkward. It didn't feel like there was too much going on sometimes. But the cosplay that we d did see was pretty cool. A lot of times, definitely a lot of really revealing uh, anime cosplay. Quite revealing. Yeah, uh, men and women. Um, so it was definitely interesting. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I had a good time. I thought it was fun. I thought it was funny and we were there with news to astonish Ronnie So make sure you go down to the description box down below and follow the big Rob theory oh, hold on. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow the big Rob theory on YouTube subscribe to his channel and also Ronnie with the news to astonish Really great <laughs> channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video Robert's laughing because I've messed up this outro about 700 times But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you guys in the next video Robert? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, thanks again for checking out um, his vlog video. Go over to my channel, check out my vlog video, and definitely subscribe to News to Astonish because he is really awesome. Again, we all, you know, went to the same youth group. Like, comment, subscribe to the channels, and stay tuned for more. And away we go. Bye bye. <laughs>
Hey!